I woke up to three-year-old petting my head. I asked what she needed and she said, I wish I had a piece of you that I could carry with me all the time, like your finger. Haven't slept soundly since. A good friend has a niece who said to her mom at the age of four, as her mom was tucking her in, Mama, the ceiling. What about it? It's full of blood. What in the Amityville horror? My son hugged me a few years ago and said, I love you, but you smell like cancer. He was spot on with the diagnosis, hasn't said a thing about it since. I was hiking alone in the woods with my son who was seven. It was eerie quiet. Out of nowhere, he says, the woods demand a sacrifice. Bitch, if it's between me and you. <laughs> My friend said her grandkid was scared of the scratchy-faced man in her closet. One day, she was organizing pictures and her grandkid said, I know her. She said, no honey, she died a long time ago. That's my grandma. Kid said, that's the lady who protects me from the scratchy-faced man. Putting my half-brother down for a nap, he goes, I can't sleep with the mean little boy staring at me. Points to the dark closet. We didn't take a nap and went to the beach instead. <laughs> One of the twins I used to nanny would wake up before his brother, hide in darkened areas of the house, and make a noise like the kid from The Grudge. Uh... <laughs> How does it go again? I can't remember. Uh... <laughs> he would keep doing this until I found him, so I had to go into dark rooms looking for that sound. Fuck no!